one one um, thing that really came into play as well in terms of that last game was the double evolve. I feel like that first evolve maybe could have been kept because there was I can't remember which two legendaries it was, but there was two legend two out of three of the cards were legendaries. Oh one wow. of them, the one that's like if it gets targeted, it I can't remember which one it was. Oh, it was one of those ethereal ones where it, it has an effect if you target it with a spell. Oh, Fiola Lightbane. Maybe. Right. Yeah. So Eden just played a tunnel trog. And now Tabitha is our Zulok here. I just go for That's the That's a pretty solid start for uh, for a shaman. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Uh, I'd go for the um Voidwalker coin flame imp, you know. Yeah. Classic zoo start. Everyone hates it on ladder. <laughs> and obviously it deals with quite a lot of power on board as well. I'm just gonna go for the just a flame imp though. Double yeah. forbidden ritual. I can it she can get uh, the Darkshire Councilman in hand. I presume Darkshire Councilman is in this deck. It's a zoo deck. It is, yes, I yep. think. So I hope so. <laughs> obviously, the Darkshire Councilman getting buffed every time you summon a minion. So you can really make a big, powerful... It starts as a 1-5, but if you use that Forbidden Ritual on the right turn, you become like a 4. 25. It's disgusting. <laughs> You're disgusting. So when you trade in here because obviously... You want to try and maintain as much board clear against the zoo as physically possible. Brown Bronzebeard is in the deck. Yeah, Brown Bronzebeard's there. Why not? We're living in 2015. Why not? Defender of Argus, Brown Bronzebeard, that's okay. So Ooh. she'll she'll play the knife juggler. Probably, I think, yeah, coin out the, uh, the void walker just to d defend it. Obviously the knife juggler recently, I say recently, getting a nerf. Only got the two health now. Certainly does. Attack. But overloaded from the totem gone last turn, the lightning storm would have been a godsend here, but it's not going to be available. Well, no. lightning storm's a really good answer to forbidden uh, ritual, which will obviously come out for some point uh, with the warlock. So you will always have that answer in your hand uh, if you are suspecting that forbidden ritual can be a thing, which we we know it can be a thing. We know it can be a thing. So looks like the novice engineer going to come, and we'll see what. He draws another <laughs> novice engineer. So, do you d right? Okay. So now we've got the ch wow, the choice. Do you play one of your forbidden rituals, knowing that you have a second one in your hand available? I think I think one of your forbidden rituals now is fine. Um, hopefully, knife juggler does you some justice, which it does. That's a that's a good bit of justice on the knife juggler right there. But lightning storm, obviously, we know has the potential to clean up. Uh. And Tabitha went face. So, uh, but I think, you know, in Tabitha's situation, that's probably the best play to make. Y you know, you can't bank on playing around Lightning Storm your entire life as a Zulok. It's just impossible. Um, but you can if you want. And, and, it's and just you not think, gonna be that yeah. great. And, and you think that, um, that, that Knife Juggler is going to be a more of a threat. So he'll trade his Totem Golem in. So she can yes. play this uh, Darkshire Councilman now, but there is the, a high possibility it's going to be taken down. Just as the one five as well, and actually Eden's looking in pretty good shape with his shaman. Yeah, if he starts drawing into some of his later threats, like those fire elementals, like Master of Evolution, he's not in a bad position at all. Um, completely agree with you. And also, Tabitha doesn't really have that many solid plays. You know, uh, no one really likes playing a bear dark shield councilman on uh, a board with absolutely no presence. So, another lightning storm coming into the hand as well for Eden, which obviously is very powerful against Zoo and. The struggle for the zoo really will be that if Eden can build up a board, there's no real removal there for the zoo lock. And then the evolves yeah. will come into play and the bloodlust will come Ooh, into play. Hey, Bron 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 this is the zoo lock. For anyone who is just tuning in and is wondering why Novice Engineer is no, in these decks, Tabitha, it's because no. Tabitha is cosplaying the Novice Engineer today. She looks absolutely fabulous, of course. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Please don't play it after. You sound, you sound like one of those background, uh, oh you know, when they have like fashion shows at uh, shopping centers. Here's sometimes. Tabitha. Here's Tabitha. As a Novice Engineer. Novice engineer. Oh, doesn't she look fabulous today, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> it's, like that, it's like that background voice. So her order wasn't great there. She yeah, that, the was, that was a painful turn to watch. I think it she, I think she realized as well. I think she's, she's aware she's a of the situation. 10, so she knows these things. She'll watch this broadcast back. She'll analyze her play. <laughs> That's what pro players do nowadays. Don't laugh at me, Munchables. 
So this is a good turn for Eden. He's actually setting himself up nicely for us to pick up an evolve. But even so, you're probably not looking to evolve this board anyway because it's pretty strong regardless. And you know that the, the, the Warlock is a Zulok. It's probably not going to be running any board clear. Also, the Sea Giant is great, but it has to get through two Feral Spirits and there's nothing that can get through as of yet. I think just putting a big, big threat on board is actually probably a good idea because then it makes Eden think, right, I have to, do I have to clear this? Blood Am I just going to go face? Bloodlust is lethal, right, if he draws it. But he doesn't. Fire Elemental. So now, now he's got the option. Do I, am I clearing this Sea Giant? Which would play into the hands of Sabaton, but just having that Lightning Storm in hand is, is massive. Because I, I and even if she, if she uses that Forbidden Ritual, it's just going to, her whole board's going to get wiped out. I would personally just Lightning Storm, take out the 1-1 one, one with one of the Feral Spirits, not next to the Flame Tongue Totem, and then just throw everything else face. Well, I think Novice Engineer first anyway, yeah, just yeah. see what you can draw. You can still play your Lightning Storm. And it's going to be a Rock Biter weapon. Yeah. Going for Healing Totem, play? maybe. Oh, Swap Totem's good. Yeah, I think the well, position that Eden's in now, he can just afford to go face. He's got Lethal next turn, obviously. With the cards in hand. And I don't think Sabbath can get to the taunt, so... Nope, it doesn't look like she can find anything. She may even tap to look for more. But... I think yeah, this tap is in search of Defender of Argus was the only way to uh, stay in the game there. Yeah. And that's just the problem with Zoo. If you do end up losing board control, you've got no comeback mechanics, realistically. Because, you know, they have no board play. You don't run Hellfire, you don't run Shadow Flame. Uh, none of those things exist in Zoo, realistically. So, yeah, it, it, it was... Difficult once you lost board control, and actually, it's the one time that we've actually seen Eden draw a suitable early curve into given that position as yeah. an evolution. Yeah, he had the, the early curve and the lightning storms just made a massive difference. To be honest, Eden has drawn well enough this game to make this deck look good, <laughs> <laughs> which is a, a feat in itself. So, but this does mean, oh. by the looks of things, I'm gonna hit into the taunt in the rock order meeting that the uh, possessed villager does end up going down. But now, when he ends turn, that is going to be Tabitha with more than enough damage on board. The well played going to come out from Tabitha, and Eden is going to be able to finish this one off. I realize I shuffled the names around a couple of times during that sentence, but it is going to be Eden taking the victory. And that means he has earned himself a little prize as well. So, massive congratulations.